WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Mohegan Sun Poeto. The River, 105 and 103.5. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout with his I Always Am Sunday nights, 9 to 10, bringing your regional artists from northeastern Pennsylvania, doing their own original material, hanging out with D.C. Taylor. D.C., good to see you, man. Yes. How are you, Alan? Good. First thing I want to do tonight is thank you. Yeah. Uh, we came... I. We we did a, a tribute show last Sunday night to Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. We got so much great feedback on it from people that tuned in and, and enjoyed the program. And Good. One thing I didn't have time to get into last week because we had so much to do was was D.C. I, I literally walk in here. Well, I told him a few days prior last week. I said, D.C., we're going to have uh, 14 guests on the show this Sunday night. <laughs> They're all going to be coming via text message. Um, we're going to pop in a couple of old interviews from 1995 and 1998, and we're not going to play the original music that we normally play. And so I hit him with all this stuff and he's like, all right, no problem. (laughs) So, uh, the best producer in the world right here. If, if you enjoyed the program and you thought it sounded smooth, uh, which, which I certainly thought it did, uh, the credit goes to this man here. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. My pleasure. It was, um, it was something that we had never done before for a national artist. I was thinking about it after the show aired. Uh, we did one when George Wesley passed, and we did one when Jane Train passed, and long time ago uh, when Timmy Hopkins passed from Mighty Fine Wine back in 2005, so 15 mm-hmm. years ago. But they were the only times that we ever uh, fortunately had to, to do a show like that, and hopefully we won't be doing another one for a long time long time uh, i was thinking for a national artist maybe um maybe springsteen or mccartney you know right, it would right. be the only two that i would think of that maybe i would personally be moved to do something like mm-hmm. we did last week let's get to back to uh, business here and what we normally do we've got a brand new track from james barrett he just dropped this one about a week and a half ago and uh, we couldn't spin it for you last week because we were doing the Van Halen show, but I wanted to kick off the program with it for you tonight. It's called Love Song in 2020 from James Barrett. I can't wait around and wait for you Like waiting for a sky so blue over Scranton To last longer than a two-hour segment I find myself feeling awfully blue Losing consciousness
Vacancy here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Rain Dance. Before that, a brand new song from James Barrett, a song called Love Song in 2020. James has been sending us his music now here on the show for a couple of years. Everything that he sends us is really is really good. We, we, we love James' stuff, so we appreciate him sending us some stuff, and we're happy to get that one on the air for you tonight for the first time. We're going to premiere now on the show another new one that actually came to us prior to last week. We we had a couple tunes that came in the week we were doing the Van Halen tribute, so I had to hang on to them for next week. This is from a duo called The Latter Day. It features Chris Ludzik and Brian Brophy. They have a brand new CD out, a full-length CD. It's called Matters of Time. And this is a track called Upon the Fence. Chris was actually one of the artists that I spoke with back in... I guess it was April, May, June when I was doing DC, those podcast mm -hmm. series where I just did it, where we were off the air. Yeah. And I did 19 interviews with people from the local music scene, just about how they were working through COVID-19 as musicians and people that worked in the field. Chris was one of those guys that I talked to and he gave us a great conversation. If you're a fan, you can still find that one on YouTube. This is a new one again. It's called Upon the Fence. I've got somewhere in between Death and despair And the sad thing is I don't even care All the best laid plans That I thought slipped through my hands Well it turned out They were never there I've been waiting for a lifetime what the hell am I waiting for? Had the chance, but never had the guts To put my foot in the door Everyone around me thinks I'm going wrong Telling me I've got to find a better day but if they knew the half of it, they just let me be and understand I've got to make my own way. So here I sit upon the fence with the bird's eye view of both sides of my life. And looking up to see, hanging over me. Is destiny's
Ellie Rose here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Broken Strings. And before that, brand new track from the latter day, a song called Upon the Fence. You know, we we mentioned this before on the show about two weeks ago, DC. We got so much music that came in during the you know, the time that we were off the air for a little while. And it just continues to come in. Uh, I remember when we were first off the air, I did a podcast from home. I think it may have been the first one I did back in March or April. Mm -hmm. No, we were on until the end of March. It must have been April. April, yeah. And I said, you know, I'm not getting that much stuff right now. That only lasted for about two weeks or so. I think what happened was a lot of parts were trying to figure out what to do. You know, if they had records that were about to come out or if they had been recording. And then... You know, I was really kind of proud to see them just all forge forward anyway. And they start doing the podcasts from home and uh, putting their music out on social media, sending it out to radio. And as soon as we got back on the air, we were able to, uh, you know, kind of get all caught up with it and start spinning it again. And here we are this week, uh, you know, still in the middle of this pandemic with a new tune from James Barrett and a new song from, from Chris Ludzik with... The Latter Day. This is another one of those tunes that just came out very recently. We just debuted this one a couple of weeks ago. It's from Don't Panic. It's called Life of the Funeral. Little bit that I could keep, but now you already know. I know 
love you, you know you're the reason I gotta go Boastfuls here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Tequila. And before that, Don't Panic, with a song called Life of the Funeral. You know, we had so many guests on last week, 14 different musicians. DC got to tell uh, some Van Halen uh, stories at the beginning of the show, but then we kind of stepped aside for a bit and let the guitar players do a lot of the talking for the rest of the show. But you had some other thoughts on last week's program. Yeah. It's just, I just wanted to ask you, I don't know if you put this out there on the show, but you know, you said, I want to do a, a Eddie Van, Eddie Van, Eddie Van Halen tribute show. I'm like, okay, well that's, that's, that, that would be, that would be great. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm interested how you sort of brought together the thought of bringing a tribute to a, you know, a world renowned recording artist, uh, you know, guitarist like that and bringing that to this local music show. How did you, how did you figure that out? Well, that goes back to being at the newspaper for all those years. And when I worked in the newsroom, you know, you would try to localize a national story. Okay. I remember when Michael Jackson passed away, you know, I text my, the editor at the newspaper and I, I told him Michael Jackson, cardiac arrest. And, and he called me. And I said, I'll be right in, you know, and I got into work and wound up writing a story for the next day, ran on page one of three people that from local angles that knew Michael Jackson. No. You know, one guy toured with him with the Jackson five when he was a little kid. One guy from mountain productions built the stage for the victory tour that he did with the brothers in 84. Yeah. And Steve Corbett who covered the trial out in California. Oh, right. Okay. And so that night, I was able to write that story. And so we did that kind of stuff a lot in the newsroom. And so I guess that's just, you know, kind of my, my roots of a reporter bringing that over to, 
to this show. Okay. Once we just and it was obvious who we wanted to talk to. We wanted to talk to guitar players. Yeah. yeah. But once what and but I still wasn't sure what we would do with the music mm-hmm. because most of the guys that we played their music don't really sound like Van Halen. Right. And they they grew up playing his music, but they they all you know do their own stuff and. So I thought, well, that's not going to make any sense. And how do we choose which artists to play on the show? We've got 14 guys here contributing their thoughts. And so that's when I said, well, we'll just play some Van Halen music. There, there you go. And so right. you know, that's how it all came together. <laughs> Very good. Appreciate everybody that tuned in again. And that's up online right now. If you missed it last week, the podcast is up on the Facebook page, Music on the Menu with Alan out. Let's get back to the music here. This is one we just debuted a couple weeks ago. Great song from Vine Street. It's called Don't Let Go.
Hey, this is Adam Knowlton, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the River. He sits on my shoulder, a thought crossed my mind. I know that it's wrong, and I ask myself why.
Adam Knowlton here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Devil in Me. Before that, Brian Tonart, a song we premiered recently here on the show for the first time with a song called Briona. And before that, Vine Street, another one that we just debuted for the first time a couple weeks ago with a song called Don't Let Go. Always fun to play new music here on Sunday nights on Music on the Menu. This is a band that I guess we debuted about a year and a half ago. They're called Young Lion. And if you like reggae, I'm sure you'll dig it. Check it out. It's called Good Vibration. Folks, this is Joe Burke, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the River.
restless heart my only constant
Jackson V here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Barry Yesterday. Before that, Joe Burke with a song called August. And before that, Young Lion with a tune called Good Vibrations. This has been Music on the Menu on the River. I'll leave you now as I always do with the Badleys. This one goes back to the River Songs record. My friend of mine uh, once nicknamed this song the album, the Divorce Album, because I guess there was some of that going on in the band at the time. And you can certainly hear that in this song. Nothing much of anything. We'll catch you next week. You've got a right to be angry. You've got a right to complain. But just being right ain't gonna change anything. You want understanding without saying a word. Even though it's undeserved But it ain't no secret But I'm looking so I can't believe it We're getting old One of us should stand up One of us should scream One of us should step out And say this is what it means One of us should say this is what it is We're fighting for And opinions to say We all have our methods of defending ourselves But there's nothing as lifeless As a tree that don't bear Well, there's nothing as worthless as a fair-weather friend
anger It's a world full of pain It's a world full of people Looking for someone else to blame But it don't make no difference If it don't make no sense Because the world goes on changing With or without our concern 